Hi, welcome to Kit Plus TV. I'm Alistair Chapman and with me is Kevin Salvage from Leader. And if you haven't come across Leader before, they make some really very high quality, high end, very capable uh, video monitoring and analysis tools. Uh, things like very sophisticated waveform monitors, um, gamut checkers and things like that. Um, one of the devices I've been looking at as a new one or relatively new is the, um, the LV5350, which is a really small, compact and portable little device. Looks like a little monitor, but it's actually much, much more than that because it has a full set of measuring tools. So, so Kevin, tell me a little bit more about the LV5350. Well, hello, everybody. And Alison, thank you for talking about the 5350. Um, one of the challenges we've heard from people is kind of onset monitoring of especially HDR because that's where the huge demand is now for programming. Um, the OTT service providers, you know, are paying, you know, a very good price for this programming, but they are expecting a very high quality deliverable. And this has sort of necessitated getting it right on set first time because you still have a very creative process when you go into post-production and I'm sure as everybody knows the way the OTT service providers work that if you submit programming and it's not to their level they reject it but they also tell the world they've rejected it so um, it's quite an interesting challenge um, yeah, but we I, found. I mean, I, I know that um, with some of the some of the OTT providers, I'm not going to name names here, that you even have to upload your rushes on a daily basis, so it can be quality con uh, quality control checked overnight before you can continue shooting. In some cases, they're really tight on it. They are, and you don't really have the practicalities on set to have a 4K HDR monitor, you know, available to to view, you know, your rushes and make necessary adjustments. And that's where kind of leader has focused with the LV5350. Um, it has the capabilities of displaying all of kind of the HDR components that a cinematographer or even a DIT will be expected to be monitoring, you know, prior to saying, right, that's a take, let's move on to the next setup. Um, so it's been quite a challenge, but the tools we've got are now allowing onset to see what an HDR image looks like. And the beauty of now, it is I, they're yeah. the same tools that are being used in post-production. Yes, so, now I know a lot, of, um, a lot of DITs will very often just use something like DaVinci Resolve with an SDI card and they'll look at the scopes and things in that. But I know from experience that if, if you try to go down that route, that you have other issues in that you don't know what level conversions might be taking place with your input card, with, within Resolve, within whatever software that you're using. And that introduces errors. So you might be measuring, but you're actually measuring in the wrong range. And of course, I assume that by having a dedicated measuring device, all those errors go away. And the other thing is that I know a lot of people perhaps will say, well, I've got a really good set of scopes on my monitor. Why don't I just use that? And again, I know that looking at a lot of monitors that it's very rare that the scopes on monitors have the precision and the accuracy, the very fine detail that you really need when you're trying to, to look at things. And I think there are some other features as well that the 5350 has that are, are really quite unique. Can you tell me more about some of those? There are. I mean, obviously, one of the challenges we now face is that we've, we're moving away from just a TV world production where many of you may have heard the term legal range. Um, where we're getting into a hybrid world where there's also kind of feature film productions are being shot for television. So we get full range video and our tools allow you to monitor what the cameras and what various devices on set are set up to monitor. And as you said, it's the fact that it's the only thing that our products do. Every other tool, like you said, a DaVinci or a monitor, the waveform in that is, and on some of them, you can see quite a bit of a delay between them reporting an error and when it actually happened. Whereas with the leader products, it's frame accurate, which as soon as it happens, you get the error reported, not maybe a couple of frames later on. 
And another thing about that error reporting that I found is it has this really nice highlight warning feature. So when you do HDR, one of the big concerns is what's happening to highlights. And if they go too far too bright, even the best colorist in the world in post-production can't really deal with them properly. And one of the things I found it had is a really nice highlight warning uh, function. Could you tell the audience a bit more about that? Yeah, so for quite a while, Leader, if you're familiar with the products, has had various false color displays. And Cinezone HDR is kind of the latest generation of that product. So what it does is any part of the picture that is monochrome is standard dynamic range. And then any part of the picture that is colored, and that's blue through green through yellow to red, is the HDR component. And then it will highlight in magenta any areas of the picture that are overexposed. And the other nice feature with this unit is that the display output can be put onto a 3G broadcast monitor. So if you do need to review on set with the cinematographer or any other members of the team, you can look at it on a larger display very simply rather than all crowding around the dip cart and um, trying to figure out what's gone wrong. Now, so, something else that I do a lot in the productions that I work on is I like to be able to, to measure what I'm recording. So I want to measure the log because that's what I'm recording if I'm shooting with a log or a raw camera. But also at the same time, we very often want to have a lookup table applied. Um, and that gives an approximation of what the production will look like when it's finished. And I believe that, um, that, that the, the, the 5350 can actually measure both at the same time. That's correct. The LV5350 has two 3G HD SDI inputs and they're completely independent of each other. So you can set up different transfer characteristics. So with the correct software license, it does support S log C log log C um, as well as PQ. So one can be set up for your log and the other one could be set up with nothing applied. So exactly as you said, Alistair, you get to see your pre and post log image in real time on set. Yeah, and, and I think that ability to do both at the same time, I mean, that's something that you know, not many monitors can do. Uh, and, and because you're not going through any converters, you're not going through anything else, you're actually measuring the real levels. And as you said, we have these, productions now and log is one case that, that most log formats and lo most log cameras are working in uh, data range rather than legal whereas most monitors like to work in yeah. legal range and the other thing of course is this this is just the bigger brother of, of a lot of other products isn't it or the smaller brother rather yes it is I mean, as, as I said we we have the LV 5600 waveform monitor 7600 rasterizer that you're typically going to find in post-production facilities, um, either for editing, certainly for grading, especially 4K, UHD, HDR productions. And also now we're seeing the demand in live production, especially sports events where camera shaders are obviously having to work and match the cameras. And we have a new position that's appeared, this kind of HDR supervisor. And one of the challenges he faces that he could be acquiring in a particular transfer characteristic that's not being delivered to the customer. So there may be some conversion. So he's going to need to monitor what the camera's acquiring, what the conversion product is doing. But also, as much as we all love technology, it's the HDSDR version of the program that's paying the bills, that's keeping us there. And yeah. you have to monitor that as well. So I mentioned on set, we can look at two with its bigger brother. We can look at four transfer characteristics in HD simultaneously. Yeah, and I mean, we talked a lot, a lot about HDR in particular in, in the last few minutes, but of course, SDR as well, it can do all of that, of course. But I think a lot of people don't really realize that this HDR freight train is coming at us and it isn't gonna stop. So even if you're not doing HDR right now, right today, you, you can guarantee that in one or two years time, you will need to be because it's not something that's going to stop. It's not something that's going to go away. It's not like 3D that sort of comes and goes in phases and waves. HDR is here. It's coming like a steam train and there's nothing going to stop it. So you need to have the right tools for HDR. Yeah. And the great thing with the leader products is that the high dynamic range is a software license. So if today 
your kind of um, diary is lined up with HD SDR programs, but you know you're out there bidding for HDR work and hopefully you'll be successful. It's simply a case with us of just purchasing the license. We send you the software key, the unit doesn't need to be returned to us, and then you're up and running and ready to um, work on that first HDR production. Okay, so talking of pricing, which would be a nice way to, to wrap things up, what, what sort of price are we looking uh, at an entry level to get into this? It must be hundreds of thousands of dollars, surely. So it's, it's not that bad. Um, as I said, it's a lot depends on the options and licenses, but the whole idea is the entry level of the product is a 3G HD product that will cover most people's requirements. And that kind of comes in around about five and a half, six thousand pounds sterling. So that sounds like a really interesting product and one that can grow as your own needs change, uh, keeping it very cost effective through licenses for the different options you need. For more information on the leader products, do check out the links below. And for more information about other products being launched around now, because this is our sort of virtual IBC time, do check out kitplus.com.